A Tampa woman becomes a stripper just like her mom, fulfilling a childhood dream. Kudos to her, man. Uh, not many people get to do that. I dreamt of being in the NBA when I was a kid. So the day became painfully clear that I wasn't very good at running, jumping, or shooting. is up internet i'm that dude swainzilla aka old guy with too much time on his hands and this is crazy ass news welcome folks on today's episode we learn about sabrina verlis who followed her childhood dream of becoming a stripper just like her mom at the age of 14 sabrina's mom the former exotic dancer let her try on some of her old stripper costumes, sparking her interest in the profession, knowing right then and there that she wanted to follow in her mom's footsteps. Hey, there's worse family businesses to carry on. Her mom could have worked at the sewage treatment plant. So at 20 years old, Sabrina bought herself a pole, uh, some heels, and some stripper outfits. She practiced for two straight days and then auditioned at a club in Clearwater. Did you know they call these uh, high-platform stripper shoes pleaser heels? Not gonna lie, they are fun to look at. But they also look like torture devices to wear. Her audition turned into her first night of work. She made $300 that first night and now works 10 to 25 hours a week, making up to $10,000 per night. She practiced her dream job for two days. Now she makes 10 grand a night and doesn't even have to work 40 hours a week. Shit, I'm about to do some sit-ups and then go put my application in at Chippendales. <laughs> Sabrina's mother, Sherry, danced in Pennsylvania clubs back in the 90s, but had to quit two years before Sabrina was born because of a car accident. Just a reminder, Sherry told Sabrina about all of her stripper <laughs> adventures when Sabrina was 14. I think it's fine. It's age appropriate. Can you imagine your mom ever, like, giving you a rundown of her stripper exploits? Sabrina says she learned techniques on how to work the men and attract big tips on YouTube. What can't you learn on YouTube these days? Some Indian dude on there the other day taught me how to say hello in 50 different languages. Konnichiwa! Sabrina makes enough to afford a two-bedroom apartment and even paid off her Volkswagen Passat, saying, It's expensive in Tampa. You need a box full of cash if you're going to make rent. Someone needs to tell Sabrina she can probably pay her rent online now. Having to hand your landlord a box full of cash it seems crazy inconvenient. Sabrina acknowledges the challenges in her profession, including getting strange requests and people sometimes overstepping boundaries. But then again, there is all that sweet ass money. I know I could put up with a lot of shit for 10 grand a night. But despite how cushy her life seems, she warns that the stripper lifestyle isn't suitable for everyone. But honestly, I don't care what profession a woman chooses, dudes are gonna always be out here making them uncomfortable. So you might as well try to get paid for it. Even if you're some kind of weirdo that doesn't like strippers, you gotta give it up for Sabrina, right? For following her dream? For continuing the family tradition? And for probably making her mama a little proud? Which is something I could never do. Shit, my mom's just glad I'm not dead or in jail. I don't know, though. Uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you knew you'd make 10 G's a night, would you strip? Because I've worked in retail, man. Like, I feel like I've worked way harder for way less and probably been treated way worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's some kind of strangeness about people m being able to make money off of their sexuality. But, like, sexuality is like a, like a God-given skill if you want to, like, Michael Jordan made money playing basketball. Like, great, Wayne Gretzky made money. Like, why can't Sabrina shake her ass? 
why can't she make a living off of her ability to do that at a high enough level to where, dude, making 10 grand a, ni a grand a night, she must be swinging that thing around. Have you ever followed either of your parents' career paths? Um, I'm, well, my mom worked in retail, and so I've worked in retail, but I did, because <laughs> I grew up in a small-ass area, I did work at this random place that my dad worked at when he was younger, uh, where, where we painted fire hydrants. For some reason, we would just... I, it was so long ago that I barely remember what we did, but I feel like... Just like I described it, we just painted fire hydrants. We painted them black. And we would get like a, we would have a whole day's worth of them to paint. Which seems like crazy. Like where, did, where were all these fire hydrants going? Like it was a eight hour a day, seven day a week job. Where we painted fire hydrants. We painted them all black and I feel like, it must be some kind of protective coating before, like, they get to their destination and, like, the locality. Like, some probably use, some might use red some, for different occasions, for different areas. By the fire hall, they might use red fire hydrants. You know what I mean? By the school, they might use yellow. By the bank, they might use orange. I don't fucking know, but we would paint them black. And crazy that I, re I, I don't remember... I just remember painting these things. I think, did we use hand brushes? I don't know. That's a crazy memory, though. Crazy. Could you be proud of your kid if they chose to be like a stripper or a sex worker or anything along those lines? Like, I have no clue. I, I, I chose, I decided a long ass time ago that I would not have kids. I'm out here like, I was out here like the Matrix when I was growing up. Like, no kids for me. I'm good. But I don't know. I think I feel like I feel like one reason why I never wanted to have kids is because I feel like you'd have that kind of urge to kind of try to implant your like I think it would be easy for like like in this case, like if your kid grows up to be a stripper, like in all reality, what fucking business is it of yours, right? Just because you created Sally, or Sabrina in this case, like, I would feel kind of weird being, like, disappointed, like, that they chose something that I wouldn't choose for them. I, I, I don't know, like, I feel like that would probably be something that would be easily ignored when you're a parent because you just care so much and you want to protect your kid, but I feel like that's why I avoided avoided it decided not to have kids because i feel like i wouldn't want to be that way like i i wouldn't want my kid I, I don't know like i i never really felt like um i dis i was definitely an asshole growing up but i don't i still don't think my mom was ever really she was upset with me but not ever ever like gave up on me i don't know that's kind of deep that's way too deep for what these kind of videos are about but, uh, yeah, like, let your kids strip. That's the bottom line. <laughs> anyway, what do you think about this whole story? For me, like, look, Sabrina, go do your thing, girl. Like, kudos to you. I got to tip my cap. Like, making $10,000 a night doing anything is, like, I just can't. Im that's, like, I cannot relate. I don't know why. Like, Jesus Christ. She was, I just can't even imagine having that kind of money. So, uh, and stripping, like, like I said, man, everything you do, if you can, the old saying, if you do something well, don't do it for free. Like, why wouldn't somebody be able to use their sexuality to enhance their, uh, existence? They only get one trip around on this floating rock, man. I feel like, and there's a supply and demand. This woman's making $10,000 a night. Yeah, let these people live. Let these people make money. Um... And let it be more little girls' dreams. Like, if it was, like, more controlled environment, like, I feel like most parents' biggest uh, concerns would be the, their ch kids' safety, working in um, any kind of, like, stripper, sec even only fans because they're stalkers and stuff. It's like a safety thing. But if it's, like, a normalized way to make money, then I feel like it would be easier to 
like oversee it. For safety, for hope. And there you have it, folks, a heartwarming tale about a young woman who fulfilled her childhood dream, and she only had to practice for two days. She makes 10 grand a night. I've been making these stupid videos for two years, and this shit's not even going to get 10 likes. <laughs> anyway, anyway, now I'm not bitter. That's all I have for now. I'll catch you on the next one later.